Hello guys, welcome back to another week. The last few days, well, the actually last couple days of the month of July. What a month, my friends, what a month. Because look, we went all the way up and then we went all the way down and we stay sideways and then, you know, a crazy month. Um, a lot of things happened, you know, just doing a little recap here. Trump, Biden and um, ECB and everywhere as, uh, as well as the uh, CPI from USA. So lots and lots of things happening on the market at this moment. Um, I hope everyone is using a good risk approach, a good risk management. In today's video, I'm just gonna um, have a look at the economic calendar. Always ask you guys, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on this video and share this content with your friends. And this way um, everyone can learn, everyone can understand uh, what's gonna be happening this uh, during this week. All right, guys, so for Monday today, we're not gonna have anything, all right? Um, literally, we only have German retail sales at 4 p.m. Um, that is in five minutes. And then Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, we will gonna have some European data, all right? So especially German CPI, as well as Eurozone GDP and the German GDP quarter over quarter, all right? And the Spanish GDP as well. Now. Uh, the German CPI is expected to be, the year over year, is expected to be 2.2% from the previous, so 2.2, uh, so no changes expected. The German GDP is expected to be a little of, of a contraction from 0.2% from quarter um, two to 0.1% now consensus. So. I'm, I'm do expecting, I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of a decline, okay, um, on that, but look, I'm expecting, but most probably can come a little bit higher. So um, my expectation is that yes, we will probably have another week with Euro dollar lower, um, but in, in the end of my, you know, my brain, it says we may have a tick higher and then a pullback lower because of the NFP. So um, on Wednesday, we were gonna go for consumer confidence on USA. So 99.8 from the previous of 100.4. Um, expected to be declining. Very important retail sales and CPI for Australia at 11.30 a.m. from the consensus of 0.3% from the previous of 0.6% for retail sales. And the CPI quarter of a quarter, quarter two, Previous 1% and consensus 1%, so no changes expected at all in um, CPI for Australia. That I think it's very strange, expecting no changes on inflation when we're still having prices, you know, kind of rising pretty quickly. Um, and we still have the last release, the year over year, much higher than expected. So, um, in my opinion, the quarter over quarter may be wrong. But the month over month as well may be wrong, may be too optimistic because the previous was 0.6% and they're expecting 0.3% for inflation on June. Um, I think it's too optimistic to be sent, to be honest with you guys. I, I do believe that we still have a bit of inflation, um, but you know it may, may come from 0.3 to 0.4, somewhere around those numbers. Um, and this will, of course, continue to weaken the Australian dollar, even though it's a bit higher than the consensus, it's lower than the previous. Then we go for the Bank of Japan monetary policy interest rates decision, um, expected to be at pause here on my economic calendar, but I'm do expecting a hike, all right, and I do expect Japanese yen to be stronger than before. So to be honest, I do believe that we're gonna get a hike from um, the Bank of Japan, especially because of the GDP um, and of course the CPI that everyone knows. Um, I think they are maintaining a good balance between um, between um, inflation and labor market. So I do believe on a hike from, um, from Japan. Um, later on that the same day, on Wednesday, we're gonna have German unemployment rate, expected to be no changes. And then the big one for um, the week is the CPI as well. One of the bigger ones is the CPI for Europe, expected to be 
0.1% lower than the last year from July, July to July 22 to July 23 and now July 23 to July 24 uh, expected to be 2.4%. And the core CPI is expected to be 2.8%. Um, then we go for ADP, non-farm employment change for US. And then we go Chicago PMI. And then on Thursday, we have the Fed interest rates decision. What a big take here we have um, during this week um, for the USA. Look, most probably we will see, you know, Fed very data dependent again, like not trying to be anything massive here they're just going to try to be uh, simple as possible into the approach uh, because when it comes to such a finer point uh, this will be very important to know uh, what they will do on september okay because in august we don't have the meeting from the fed the next one we're going to have is going to be on September. And 90% of the market, well, 94% of the market is expecting a cut from the Fed in um, 18 of September. So, look, it's going to be very, very important um, for us to understand what the Fed wants to do and what they will say as well um, on, on, on Thursday. Then we go for... Uh, this is going to be at 4 a.m. Okay, in Australia time, and then we go for manufacturing PMIs and an employment rate for Eurozone, and then again we're going to have a bank rate decision on the same day. This is the UK. All right, so plenty of opportunity on pound dollar, pound yen, um, euro pound, and and so on. So definitely, if you're not in the markets yet, this is a really good opportunity for you a lot of movements is going to be happening during this week um, especially on thursday uh, we do have manufacturing pmis for um the for the usa as well and then on friday my friends we do have the big b boys the private non-fine payroll the average hourly earnings and the participation rate and everything that you already know unemployment rate as well as the non-fine payroll so, I do believe that we do have a pretty huge week ahead, all right? This is just a very broad video, just so everyone knows what sort of things is happening, so you can plan your week, take your notes, and put it down on your notebook, um, um, on the side of your desk, or even carry with you if you trade on your phone, so you know what's happening. Now, um, I highly recommend using a very good risk management this week, because we do gonna see some volatility. All right. So guys, again, thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow on my webinar. If you haven't yet registered, the link is on the description of the video. Do so by clicking on there and register your email so we can send to you the uh, link for you to join us. And if you have any question, just put down in the comments and I will be looking to that once I have a chance. Thanks everyone. Have all a great week ahead. And I see you in the next video or I see you tomorrow night on the webinar. Bye bye.